It is not remarkable that so many of the reported ghosts and phantoms and supernatural visions have been observed just as night was falling. For that is a time when the mind is fatigued and is most subject to hallucinations. And yet, there are some, like that which Captain Nolan saw on the plains of Normandy, which cannot be so easily explained away. It was during the latter days of the First World War that cavalry troops under the command of Captain David Nolan had rendered valuable service in a score of crucial battles. They had been under fire for weeks on end, and now they were retiring behind the lines for a rest, a rest they had fully earned. The long column of horsemen moved slowly, wearily through the twilight. At their head rode Captain Nolan and two other officers. They were discussing how they intended to spend their leave. Uh, You men can celebrate all you like. The only thing I want to do is to sleep. Each man to his own taste, Digby. Mine happened to run toward wine, women, and song. That sounds much more attractive to me. In the state I'm in, I couldn't even think of... Good Lord. Captain Nolan broke off abruptly in the middle of the sentence. For it was just at that moment that he saw the phantom horsemen. They were clad in white, on white steeds. And they rode in a straight, silent column, paralleling the line of the captain's own men, not more than a dozen yards away. So swiftly did they move, and so soundlessly, that their horses' hooves seemed scarcely to be touching the ground. And the column did not end. It went on and on, one ghostly figure following another through the gathering dusk. Captain Nolan's first impulse was to turn to his fellow officers to call their attention to the amazing vision. But then... He thought better of it, so he rode on in silence. For some reason, the men beside him had grown silent, too. But a few moments later, while the captain's eyes were still fastened on the incredible cavalcade, Lieutenant Digby said suddenly, You may have something there after all, Captain. I could stand a good night's rest myself. Nolan turned sharply and peered into Digby's face, as though he was seeking something there. What made you change your mind? Oh, I don't know. I I suppose I'm more tired than I thought. It seemed to hit you rather abruptly. Yes. Yes, it did, didn't it, Captain? And that was all the lieutenant would say. And once again, silence fell among the three men. But this time, it was short-lived. For after another moment or so, Lieutenant Wayne blurted out violently, almost hysterically, I can't stand this any longer. You see them? So does Digby. We're not dreaming. And we're not just tired either. That column of cavalrymen is really there. If it weren't, why should all three of us be watching it? Yes, each of the three officers had seen the column at the same moment. And each had remained silent for fear of making himself look ridiculous. Night descended swiftly now, and the phantom horsemen were blotted from view. But at the next town, Captain Nolan sent back a searching party. They returned with the inevitable answer. No other cavalry troops were in the vicinity. None could have been. And yet, afterward, Captain Nolan and Lieutenants Digby and Duane, all men of unquestionable integrity, were willing to swear that they had seen the same identical vision. A vision incredible but true. (laughs) 